So as Logan had mentioned, I just came back from Nationals. They have this really cool side event called the Nerd Slam. The Nerd Slam, and last year was awesome. This year, I gave away my answer. I had this beautiful poem that I wrote for my brother because him and I are nerds. I play Halo. I love my Xbox. Um, but I lost because I gave the question away. The question was, in Star Wars, what is the original race uh, that the Alliance allied with um, that are not the Ewoks? Anybody know the answer? <laughs> no, that's Klingon. <laughs> the answer, so when I go went up there and I'm like, what is Chewie, what is Chewie? And then my other person, the person I was going against, like, Wookie, and he stole, yeah, as a Wookie, and so he got to, he got to read the poem. So I'm gonna read my poem with you guys since I couldn't do it at nationals. So, clashing heads, dad's resolution. I remember when dad knocked our heads together and told us to stop fighting. I think he might have caused a train reaction with our brains to actually see things eye to eye, leaving behind a bump on our foreheads. Those suckers were huge. Before that time, I was almost sure mom would always stuff her stuff pillows under her shirt and walk around, tell me that the extra stuffing was you, so I would sleep on her belly, reciting poems in the form of the alphabet song and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, though I'm sure you thought they were the same song. I would wait for you to tell me short stories of water balloons and jellyfish. Actually, I might have thought you were a jellyfish, which would have made a whole lot of sense because in my entire time, Mom would eat peanut butter and jelly, and there's no way you would be a nut. You had to be jelly. <laughs> this was post-electrocution, boiling water, and slingshot to the head, which all three you were warned. After the jolts to the brain, after the jolts to the brain wave exchange, I finally understood why ninjas were cooler than pirates, why smaller snowballs were more effective than bigger snowballs, why in Super Mario Brothers mushrooms always seem to work better when you jump on them instead of running into them, <laughs> why I'll never be Princess Toadstool. That's because I'm Mario and you are my Luigi. Yes, that makes sense because there was no way you would let me be the damsel in distress in pink. A tiara, a goofy looking hairstyle without hearing you laugh me into tears. Pre-head collision, I was full of pinch pokes, you owe me a coke bruises, ear flicking paying attention to me when you packed with knuckle greetings, shin picking tangents, and elbow trolley horses. When dad told us to fight, I know I gave you some pretty good roundhouse kicks. Uppercutted you through with the roof, toasty, sweeping you to the floor with my leg. And you and your seven hit combo immediately followed by a fireball, knocking me through the wall to the old house which was icing on the cake. <laughs> but right before our Mortal Kombat finishing moves, Dad gripped our skulls, hand thunder clapped them together, and as a bolt of electricity traveled down our arms, releasing our fingers into open palms, this is where we put our fist of fury away and resulted into one line Indian burns. And until that day, we remain in stalemate. We've come so far from that fight, somewhere under the layers of hair of brilliance, there is a section of our brain stamped with an instinct poem, running 22 years with the background music of all the video games we took on and conquered, chess maneuvers, hiking trails, and relationship war stories. Brother, remember when I fell, and the fear that quickly settled in the pit of my stomach, I froze. You climbed down the ravine, rolled up your sleeves, and walked me through the mud and water, and guided me back to the surface. Yes, that makes sense. I know I'll never be a princess, but I knew, but I know you'll always be there to save me. Oh. All right, we interrupt this feature to bring you an important fundraising update. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have made on the first pass $44, which is not quite 100, but that's cool. And we're gonna pass it around again. Um, if we can get up to 75, that would help pay Rowie gas. How awesome is Rowie, by the way? It makes him noise. Real stories from Rowie. Um, so we're gonna pass this around one more time. If we can make 75, that would help cover her gas and help um, just us breaking even on throwing this event. So I know the times are tough to dig deep, y'all. And let's hear some more poems from Rowie. Okay, I'm gonna do two more poems and then we'll go back to the sound. Use I swear, the youth here is amazing. The